Okay, in this video, we're going to take a look at solving simultaneous equations, but in this case, we have one linear equation and one nonlinear equation. So find the two points where the line 2x minus y equal to 4 intersects the circle x squared plus y squared equals 25. Now, before I show you how to do it, I'm just going to show you a diagram of what these two equations look like. So the line is here 2x minus y equal to 4. I've just written it in the form of y equal to mx plus c. The circle x squared plus y squared equals 25 is a circle with center 0, 0 and radius 5. And we're looking for these two points here and here. Okay, so to solve these equations, we must use a substitution. And the substitution that I'm going to use is I'm going to isolate y in this equation here. Now, to isolate y, it's going to be 2x minus y equals 4. I'm going to take 2x from both sides, so I'll get minus y equals 4 minus 2x. Now I'm going to multiply everything by minus 1. So y is going to be equal to minus 4 plus 2x. I'll just write it in the other way to get 2x minus 4. So y is equal to 2x minus 4. I'm going to substitute this into my equation for the circle. Instead of y, I'm going to write 2x minus 4. So x squared plus y squared equals 25. I'm going to now write 2x minus 4 instead of y. So x squared plus 2x minus 4 squared equals 25. Now I have an equation with only one unknown. It's a quadratic equation and I'm going to get two, uh, two values for x from this quadratic. To solve it, I'm going to first multiply out these brackets. So x squared plus, now squaring out a set of brackets, uh, the trick for this is the square of the first, so that's 4x squared, twice the product, so that's 2x by minus 4 is minus 8x, twice that is minus 16x, and then the square of the second, the square of minus 4 is plus 16. I'm also going to take 25 from both sides, in this step as well, just to make it easier for myself. Okay, tidying things up here, x squared plus 4x is 5x squared, minus 16x, and then plus 16 minus 25 is minus 9. Now, to solve this equation here, I don't see any uh, factors jumping out at me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight to the minus b formula, or the quadratic formula, which is minus b plus and minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And this is a, this is b, and this is c. So minus b, so minus minus 16 is plus 16. So 16 plus and minus, square root of minus 16 squared minus 4 times a, which is 5, times c, which is minus 9, all over 2 times 5. That gives me 16 plus and minus the square root of, when I work all this stuff out here, I end up getting uh, the square root of 436, all over 10. Now I'm looking for the actual points of intersection, so I'm just going to throw this into my calculator now, separately with the plus, then the minus, to get two values for x. So I get x equal to 3.688. Eight, that's correct to three decimal places, and I get x equal to minus 0 0.488, also correct to three decimal places. Now, these are my two values for x. I need to find the corresponding values for y. So I go back to my equation of my line, which is y equal to 
2x minus 4. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute in each of these individually. So y is equal to 2 times the first one, 3.688 minus 4. That works out to be y equal to 3.376. The other one then, substituting in minus 0 0.488, I get y equal to 2 times minus 0 0.488 minus 4. So then y, that works out to be y equal to minus 4.976. So my two points of intersection, if I bring back my diagram here, my two points of intersection are 3.688 comma 3.376, that's that point there, and the point down here is minus 0 0.488 comma minus 4.976 okay so thanks for watching if you have any questions please ask in the comments below and i'll see you next time